In the Bible, you see love filter through the entire book. But nothing is more romantic than the book of the Song of Solomon. The Song of Solomon is just a book about two young people that are madly in love with one another. And that's what we have here today. As I stand here today, looking into the beautiful eyes of the love of my life, and surrounded by all the people that shaped me into the man I have become. I make these vows to you. I promise to always be there when you have a good or bad day, and to give you my shoulder when you need to let it all go. I vow to love you until my last breath, and wait for you at the gates when we are finally called home. I thank God every day for every mistake I've ever made because it led me to the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. It's hard to imagine what I expected love to be like before I met you. You don't have that cookie cutter, flowers and gifts way of showing your love. You have that sweep you off your feet, what just happened to me kind of way of showing it. It's the big bear hugs waiting for me after a horrible day. It's knowing exactly what to say at the right time and not saying anything at all when I just need you there. How did I get so lucky to find someone who has so many ways of showing their love for me? I promise to be the best wife I can be because I am so blessed to have you as a husband. I love you. At this time, I want to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Landry Kidd. You may kiss your bride. Unfortunately for Becca, I've always been very protective of her. And as she got older, I always questioned her choices. Like that one time she told me she was maybe nine hours away to be closer to a boy. Poor Landry didn't really stand a chance when it came to meeting Becca's sisters. No guy was gonna be good enough for her. But it didn't take long to see why Becca loved him so much. And the more I got to know him, the more I saw how great he was going to fit into our family. Becca, I am so glad you didn't listen to me when I try to talk sense into you. I'm not moving that far away. I'm so happy that you have found your soulmate. Landry, I know you'll always take care of her, and I trust you with her heart. I love you both so much. I've known Landry all my life because he's my cousin. But more than that, he's been one of my best friends throughout my whole life and really more like a brother to me. He's one of the few people in my life that I know I can always rely on. And he's always going to be there for you. Becca has grown from a little girl who used to pee on my bed. Oops. To a kind, sweet, beautiful, caring woman who could drop everything she was doing and drive 30 minutes to bring me a Coke or a Blizzard. But in the time I've known Landry, I do know the man he is today, and I know he will take care of my sister. People always ask me what I'm proud of, most proud of. I say I've got four daughters, and they're all married, and now I have four sons to go along with my four daughters. And hey, I love both of y'all. Wish y'all all the happiness in the world. I'm here for you anytime you need me. And uh, we love you to death. Glad to have you in the family.